Now, what you've got here in this example is a fraction, and you can find the derivative of this by using the quotient rule, but that's a harder, harder way of doing it. And the quicker way of doing it, and the, way, the reason why you can do this is because what's under the square root, 6x minus 5, is what you've got on the bottom here. And all you have to do is just change that square root of 6x minus 5 to 6x minus 5 to the power of 1 half over 6x minus 5, and that is really to the power 1. And then use the index law when you're dividing, and the bases, bases are the same. You just minus the powers. So that becomes 6x minus 5 to the top power 1 half minus the bottom power 1. And then that equals 6x minus 5 to the minus 1 half. And now you can easily derive that. And to do that, you need to use the chain rule. So I'm going to do it dy dx equals dy du du dx and letting u equal this thing here, so that becomes u to the minus one half. And so y equals u to the minus one half, where u equals, I'll just write that in, where u equals 6x minus 5. And then dy du, the derivative of this with respect to u, is just like if that was an x, it would be just dy dx, but it's just a different letter. So deriving that with respect to u, you bring down that power, so that's minus one half. And then you decrease one from that power, or decrease the power by one, so minus one from it. And then you're timesing by du dx, and the derivative of u with respect to x is just six, and the derivative of that is zero. So du dx equals six. And then minus 1 half times 6 is minus 3. And then that becomes u to the minus 3 on 2. And then putting back the 6x minus 5 in place of the u, 6x minus 5, and keeping that power minus 3 on 2. And that would be a correct way of writing the answer. So that's how you find the derivative of this expression. And as I mentioned, you can use the quotient rule, but it's a much harder way of doing it, and I wouldn't do it that way myself. I would do it the way that I've shown you here. So I'll move on to the second example now. In this example, and I've left the cursor in front of that y, so that's really just a y there. So I find the derivative of this expression, and this, you can do this too. So again, you don't have to use the quotient rule. You can if you want to, but it's the long way of doing it. What you can do is simplify this expression and all it becomes is 3e to the 3x over e to the x plus e to the minus 6x over e to the x. And that's a little bit like adding the fractions 1 quarter plus 2 quarters. You could write the next step as 1 plus 2 on 4 and that would equal 3 on 4. So really what you're doing is going from this step back to the that step in what I've done here, just separating that into two fractions like that, and that's what I've done here. And then the next step is to simplify each of these fractions, and again, using the index laws, that's uh, the power here is 3x, and you minus that bottom power, which is x, and then plus e to the minus 6x minus the bottom power x, and then that becomes 3e to the 2x plus e to the minus 7x. And now you can easily derive that. So dy dx, deriving each of those terms one at a time. So the derivative of this one. So the derivative of that is 2. And you times it by that 3. And then by e to the 2x plus and the derivative of this part here is minus 7. And you times it by the original thing, e to the minus 7x. And then just tidy that up. So 2 threes is 6. So 6e to the 2x minus, these two become a minus, minus 7e to the minus 7x. 
and that's the easy way of finding the derivative of this fraction rather than using the quotient rule. So that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.